concert hall in the third district of Vienna. A nearby subway occasionally disrupts the recordings. It was sort of the subway's fault. <laughs> this gave Balthasar Fischer a brilliant idea, the first membrane-free microphone. So basically, you could also use this to record music, but that's not an area we're now pursuing, mostly because this sensor has an extremely large range of frequencies. That means we have 50 times the audible spectrum, and when you record music, you need just a 50th of the range that this microphone can record. A revolution in the world of acoustics. Actually, the idea behind the microphone was more my physics side than my music side. The second passion of the physicist and sound technician, music. This is Stella by Starlight. I thought that would be quite fitting. <laughs> the Swiss scientist developed his laser microphone at Vienna University of Technology. In 2012, he founded Zarian, where the patented invention was made marketable. It all started with the question, can you measure sound with a laser? My father is a physicist, and I simply talked a lot with my father about technology and possibilities of implementation. We just got together and cooked together, and then talked for hours about physics or about certain things, how they could be done. What the sensor actually does is this. When a sound wave hits this laser beam here, then the speed of the laser light is slightly changed through the pressure. It expands a little bit slower as the medium becomes a little denser, which is what happens during the pressure wave. We then measure the intensity of the light that comes out of this apparatus. And that's our output signal and how the light is actually influenced by the sound. That is the idea behind it. Measuring sound waves with light, without a mechanical membrane prone to interference and the inert mass common in conventional microphones. It can thus measure sounds from deep infrasonic waves to ultrasound in the megahertz range, highly sensitive and free of distortion. No other sensor can do this. This is the sensor and it has an opening right inside here where the sound enters. This small opening is where the sound has an effect on the laser beam, or more specifically on the speed, the propagation speed, the speed of the laser light. The applications are diverse, whether in process control or in non-destructive material testing, such as in aircraft construction. Here we have a carbon fiber composite plate from the aviation sector. What we want to know is whether it has a defect. When we now take an ultrasound image, we do in fact see that here is damage in one spot. Now our optical microphone comes into play. That is, we use a loudspeaker that emits a very high acoustic wave in about the 200 kilohertz range. It's emitted there, and then down there is the microphone, which now measures how much sound goes through the plate. Because the sensor is very sensitive and has a very wide bandwidth, on the one hand you can see even very small defects, on the other hand, a sharp image. The mini mic can even be used underwater or in radioactive surroundings and it is being used as a sensor at CERN in Geneva and is helping to decipher the genesis. A huge success for Fischer and his team of experts. I think we can say that each person here is the best of the best. I do believe that we have made some very good choices. Example photoacoustic tomography, where laser pulses make tissues oscillate. The resulting ultrasound waves can be measured with a microphone. A model is used to demonstrate. Here we have a photoacoustic setup, which means that we illuminate biological tissue, which in our example is a small zebrafish, an embryo of about one and a half millimeters. The fish is placed on this small glass slide. It's used as a biological sample to examine diseases that also occur in humans, pancreatic cancer, for example. This can be introduced into the poor animal to develop the cancer. And without any external influences, the fish regenerates itself. So it heals itself from this cancer. And now we want to understand how the fish manages to do this. Thus, early detection of cancer is one possible application. When you think in terms of dermatology, it is of course exciting that photoacoustics is a method you can use to directly scan the surface of the skin without taking a sample, which for example would allow you to determine whether a birthmark is benign or malignant. 
Dr. Baltazar Fischer's brilliant invention is a technological breakthrough. And he is very happy in his adopted city. He has lived in the music metropolis of Vienna for 13 years. It's like being a star. And it was music, or actually sound engineering, that brought him here. The program wasn't offered in Switzerland. This is great. I'm actually taking a fiaca ride. I've never done this. Not once in 13 years. This is the luxury shopping district. Armani, Chanel. They just redid it. And cobblestones, yes. Does he miss anything? Yes, I do miss the mountains a little, you're right. But Semmering is not so far away. An hour by train, then you're in the mountains. It isn't the Matterhorn, of course. Yes, I do love Vienna, really. <laughs> Next to physics and music, however, a congenial combination that Albert Einstein is known to have also loved. <laughs> 